All right, you guys, what's up? Today we're going over something very unique from a company called General Tools. If you're in the, indust in the industry, you do know a lot about General Tools. They are precision uh, measurement tools, stuff like that. I mean, they're all micrometers, all that good stuff. Uh, but today they have come out with something called the Torch Scope. What is the torch scope? This is pretty cool. Dan was telling me about it. I'm like, wow, it's interesting. It's basically a flashlight with a camera. It's got a camera in it, you guys. It's got a video HD camera at 1280 by 720 or VGA 640 by 480. It also does take photos up to five megapixels. Um, the display resolution on it is 1.5 inches and it's 480 by 240. You can put your own memory card in there. It does come with a four gigabyte card, but it can take up to a 32 micro gigabyte uh, micro SD. Um, what are you looking at on there? The camera, I mean, I think it's, you know, I mean, for the screen size, it's... Yeah, it's really good. Uh, we're going to show you guys overlays of this. It could be dropped into 33 feet worth of water, so that's going to make it great, too. I mean, imagine you're on a boat, you need to go under in the middle of the night and search for damage, something you've hit. This is going to be a good tool. I mean, there's so many things that you can use. Oh, this is waterproof? Yeah. Wow. Up to 33 feet. Oh, so you could go down, like, on a boat. Right. You're going to get two hours of battery life at 1,000 lumens, three hours at 500 lumens while recording, and 500 hours recording only. Um, you guys, there's tons of features on it. There's tons of things you can do to go through it. It has a whole start guide here that's going to kind of show you the things that it can do. There's video modes, menu modes. Um, Where does the card go, or how do you get the... Basically, to get the card and all that, it's in the top here. Right there's how you charge it. Okay mini USB, and right there is your card. Oh, wow, okay. So you can either take that out and put it in your computer, or you can plug this directly into the computer. It's also going to charge via the USB port, which is cool. Um, but you guys, one thing i got to tell you about it is the quality of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it feels like Maglite times two. Oh, yeah, I mean, you it's know? got that. When I say whatever. that, it's got the whole like kind of machined mm -hmm. feel to it, but it also has a rubber overgrip on it that's going to, uh, you know, aid in holding it, comfort in the hand, stuff like that. Um, it's just such a cool idea. I mean, I can see it in, in law enforcement, inspections, stuff like that. You need to show your client, hey, this is going on. Um, you know, you're getting into tight areas where you can't stick your head normally. You could just stick that up in there, you know, record take it out, either play it back on the unit or play it back on your computer that's there. Obviously, playing back from the unit is limited. Yeah, I mean, it's a small screen, but it's well enough. I mean, it's big enough where you can see what you're looking at. Yeah, but I mean, uh, I can't talk enough about this, you guys, how I really like this unit here. I mean, replaceable battery, so if the battery goes, and I love that stuff, because stuff that has built-in lithium, yeah, whenever your lithium goes, of. you're done. You know, mm -hmm. it almost looks D now. It's odd sized. It's like a mixed pan of C and a D. Yeah, three point seven volt lithium. Lithium's gonna give you that extra time, and everything has these nice rubber gaskets on it. You know, um, I mean, when I was a kid, I used to love mag lights. I used to buy mag lights, oh, yeah. and when I first bought them, first thing I do was take them all apart and like grease all the fittings, mm -hmm. and you know, so they were really waterproof. Um, Remember the old like incandescent bulbs they had on them? Oh, they And then they always had one in the cap because you'd always drop it or break or something. So yeah. You always had one in the cap. And they were always, oh. every time you turned them on, they were just yellow and crappy. Oh, yeah. I'd leave it in the car and the batteries would just... Yeah, with this, you guys, you can work just uh, light only. There's different brightness. And the cool thing I like about it, too, is when you first turn it on, it's not full bright. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the low bright. Then you have the next, which is a, a brighter, and a third brightness. Then you have just a flashing mode and, and SOS. SOS. Again, Eric's SOS. favorite, SOS. SOS. Um, can't say enough about this flashlight, you guys. Now, Techies are going to want it. Um, you know, if you're looking for just a flashlight, it's a little bit pricey, uh, you know. I think it runs about, what, three? Yeah, around $250, $300, I believe. You know, obviously, I, we don't like to talk prices here because you can always find it cheaper or it might be more expensive somewhere else. But whoever, this is going to save somebody's just butt, mm -hmm. you know, no. in all kinds of situations. You know, you, you're, you're a security on the property. You walk up, Eric's robbing you, you know. 
hey, I got you on camera, you know, you're right here, and I've got you illuminated at the same time. You know, I'm showing you right now, we got some uh, bees nests up there, you know. It does have a zoom, you guys, but it's a digital zoom. So when it comes to digital zoom, I always say don't use no, it. No, digital always seems like it doesn't come Yeah, because you can always do it in post. You can always do it once you get it out and put it into your video editing program. So oh, you always want to, yeah. yeah. You never want to kill the quality right in the tool itself. Um, Rubber encased buttons, that's part of the waterproof. It's just a great tool. It comes in a nice little plastic case. Um, I really think it's one of the coolest tools of the year to me. When, it, when I first saw it, I'm like, video recorder flashlight, hmm. And then when I got it and I saw the quality, I was just blown away. And like so. you said, there's just so many uses that you, I mean, there's so many different industries that could use that. So. Right, right. So, yeah, available online, you guys. Let us know what you guys think, um, you know. I mean, basically, it's like an inspection camera, but in a flashlight, yeah. rugged flashlight, yeah. you know. Pretty cool idea. Yeah, I love it. Tools in action. Check it out. Don't forget to click like. Let us know below what you guys think of this product. TIA. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.